Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Emma, and we're playing Dragon Age Inquisition. So, first matter of business. Our Templars left. Excuse me. The Chantry promised but they defend us. Is what they're saying real? The Inquisition's going to fix the hole in the sky? That's what we're attempting, yes. No one is doing anything. The Chantry's useless, and the Templars, Andraste. I never thought they'd abandon us. Listen, your camp will need food. I have contacts. We'll have deliveries there in days. You want to help the Inquisition? Never been part of something this big before, but if your Inquisition's going to seal the sky, I want to help. I'm kind of tempted to let Cass handle this. What do you think, Cassandra? I think the woman is asking you and not me. Well, she is. The Herald of Andraste. Yes, I understand. Haven is a mess, but we won't turn away anyone willing to help. Invite her, if it pleases you. I love Cassandra. I'm really upset at the lot that she was given as far as becoming divine goes. Head to Haven, then. We need good people. I don't know if I'm that, but... It will be nice to see. Thank you. All right. So, now that we've got that taken out of the way, which is what we needed to do, we can explore a little bit more. Also, I have today's educational material down in the description. It's also right here for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> All right. This victory must please you greatly, Sika Cassandra. We came here seeking only to speak with the mothers. This is not our doing, but yours. And you had no part in forcing our hand? Do not delude yourself. Now we have been shown up by our own Templars, in front of everyone. And my fellow clerics have scattered to the wind along with their convictions. Just tell me one thing. If you do not believe you are the Maker's Chosen, then what are you? I want to do just an elf so bad, especially because she was demeaning about it. I'm an elf of the Dalish clans, nothing more. That is more comforting than you might imagine. I suppose it is out of our hands now. We shall all see what the Maker plans in the days to come. I'm really excited to like double down on this Dalish, um, I guess, allegiance. Very respective of our culture and where we've come from. Um, I didn't really select those options my first playthrough. Um, I, I still played a Dalish elf, but I was so intent on being the diplomat and the mediator and finding a peaceful means to our ends that I didn't really examine any of the nuance that surrounds the prejudice against elves. And so I'm taking a closer look at that this time through and trying to be a little more, more vehement about our heritage and people respecting that. Ooh, we have so many. You're obviously skeptical. What do you believe I am? Our divine, her holiness is dead. I have seen evidence for everything, except what would comfort me. That doesn't answer my question. For you to be true, a great many things must be false. And if you are false, a great many things must have failed. There is chaos ahead, whatever your intentions. Yeah. How are people responding to all of this? Despair. Fear. We mourn her holiness. The people look to the sky and wonder how long before terror comes for us all. There must be a way through this. Is it you? The Templars? The Maker's will? We abandoned our duties. We servants of the faith. Now we can only pray. You can do more than that. So what happens now? 
Will the Chantry continue to denounce me? <laughs> we have already done so. And what good has it done us? Now it falls on us to select a new divine, if we can. And leave the next step to her. Provided such a selection is even possible. I truly don't know. Any revered mother who could have followed Justinia died at the Conclave. What becomes of us, and your Inquisition, is in the Maker's hands now. Hmm... How many Templars turned on the Chantry, exactly? <laughs> they rebelled across Thedas. Some remained loyal, but not enough to call them the Order. The White Spire here in the capital was the largest garrison, but now it stands empty. Perhaps more shall flock to the Lord Seeker's banner now. How far has faith waned, I wonder? So the White Spire, the circle in Valrio, is where the events of Asunder take place. Where is the Lord Seeker taking the Templars? I can't begin to guess the Lord Seeker's mind. He could not have abandoned his intended role more completely. There must be sense to what we can't see. Must there? Rebellion seems popular in certain quarters, doesn't it, Seeker? Is crafting the Templars into a new power really any worse than declaring a rival to the Chantry itself? Who's she calling a rival, though? What were you hoping the Lord Seeker would do, exactly? Put aside his war against the mages and find common purpose against something much more dire. Obviously, he has other plans. With the knights vigilant slain at the Conclave, there is nothing more we can do. Perhaps there is something we can do. I'd like to believe that, Seeker. I truly would. I suppose we can expect renewed effort against the mages from him, and yet more chaos. I want to do this, but it's not going to get us anywhere. I mean, it may, but if we were handling this like a normal situation, um, as, as self-satisfying as it would be to be like, look, you fucked up. If we did actually want to entreat them to our cause, we would uh, be a little bit more negotiable. It's not too late. The Chantry could still help us and come out on top. I don't want them to come out on top, though. If only that were true. What's to stop you from trying? We are not looking for a winning horse. We are simply trying to do the right thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not even gonna get into that. What's that? An arrow with a message? Uh... That is it. Right? Because I saw... Yeah. I saw that letter at the same time, and I didn't even see any of the emotion, so I was like... All right. Uh, favors for favors for friends. A message is attached, written in a large, flowing hand and bordered with doodles. People say you're special. I want to help, and I can bring everyone. There's a baddie in Val Royale. I hear he wants to hurt you. Have a search for the red things in the market, the docks, and round the cafe, and maybe you'll meet him first. Bring swords. Friends of Red Jenny. A poor drawing of the locations in the market is attached. I forgot about this. Um, can we examine that, please? Oh, yes, yeah, the same one. Codex updated. Oh, it is different. It is said that the apples that grow near the gallows will be bitter on the tongue of a lover who will betray. It is also said, although by different people entirely, that unripened fruit should not be the only consideration when investigating matters of in, uh, fidelity. The latter, the latter are lonely most evenings among the arbors at the Summer Bazaar. Unripened fruit should not be the only consideration when investigating... 
All right. Somebody explain that to me because it's either too early in the morning and I'm not. It's just going over my head or I'm missing some allegory that I'm not familiar with. Look, it looks like I should be able to move right there. All right. So it looks like there's also... Hello. My maker, know my heart. Take from me a life of sorrow. Comfort is only yours to give. Oh, maker, where is the comfort? Look away. I have broken the chant because it comes from my heart. What? Have we when our divine is dead and the sky burns? Uh, yeah, I don't know what that means. What do you mean you broke the chant? Are you also ignorant of the Maker's most basic rights? <sighs> the chant of light is how we honor the Maker. They are the only words that the faithful should hear from my lips. But I can't. <laughs> our divine is dead. Our Templars gone. The Maker's silence is deafening. What hope have we? I'm definitely not doing that one. I, I don't want to like... I don't want to just place us as the big authoritative organization. Um, we talk with Solus later on. Or is it Cassandra? I think it's Solus. Um, that... It's basically absolute power corrupts absolutely uh, the gist of that sentiment that any organization with a modicum of power is going to abuse it, TLDR. And I don't want us to get to that point. I don't want to take the Chantry who's been abusing and oppressing people, i.e. mages, um, and uh, using the Templars to do so and using their religion to fearmonger people and control them. I don't just want to replace that. I'm glad that it's, it's in shambles right now. And I wish we could do away with it, but... That's a whole nother game. <laughs> we should question. If not now, when? Down that road is darkness. We have never been alone. We cannot be alone. But even our Templars forsake the light. Even they. I mean, it's just like when you get a breakup. Like, you're, you're okay by yourself. You need to learn to be okay by yourself. The Templars didn't even touch you. I believe that messenger is trying to get our attention. What messenger? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. We gotta finish all our stuff here before we go to mage things. Fourth line of relay. Respect to Duke Stefan of Amon. Oh, God. Montai? I don't know. Excuse me, I don't know how to speak French. I'm sorry, I'm butchering everything. Grace of the Empire South. Reserved for his strangeness, Sir Sound, and his static puppets behind glass. So, like a puppet show? Curiouser and curiouser. Third lion, Duke Yvonne of Sovereign. That one was a little easier on the tongue. Um, hello. All right. Barnabas. That's such a cool name. Hello. Open. Yes, as open as I can be. Uh, if you've a need for the well cut or the sparkling, perhaps Ooh. I can help. At the very least, we can appear like everything is normal. Yes. I don't need to sell her anything right now. They left us. The Templars left us to the mages. Chantry liars. Where, where was that coming from? I was trying to get the chat bubble back, but I'm glad people are starting to question. Uh, the display reserved for presentations of affection as though private and also discounted spirits presented by Company Mistrek Theater. So these are just different stages that the public can watch different performances from. Grace of the Empire North, this display reserved for discourse political with attending professions of social matters from the University of Orlais. Note that all vendors of loftable groceries will be closed in the hour beforehand and for one half earlier. Okay, so it looks like these are just reserved public spaces. That's really cool because if you're like, hey, we're gonna have a university lecture on this day, you know exactly where it's gonna be. I think that's really interesting. Uh, did we talk to you? No. What is the Grand Cathedral thinking? 
We must have a new divine. She will show us the way. You're very dependent, my dude. Maybe you need to think for yourself a little bit. So there's stuff. We gotta go outside this main circle. Are you gonna be nicer now? We're keeping order. Yeah. All right, have we done this one? Yes. Maybe we've got one more. And then we'll talk to this mage. Grace of the Empire East. The plaque reads, Welcome all before the Grace of the Empire. Stage and audience for the use of all. For theater and business per for partnership and proposal. Be seen. I notice below that reads, This display reserved for songs traditional by Lord Bramford and his players. Cancelled. Uh, is it also somewhat of a an events listing? This is cancel there. Or maybe that would be a good place to put it because you know that's where the performance would be. You are um, the herald of Andraste, are you not? Well, I, I did not click anything. Chris Enchantor Vivian, you are cordially invited to attend my salon now that the chateau of Duke Bastian. Oh god, de Gilslane. Yours, Vivian de Fair, first enchanter of Mont Simard, enchanter for the Imperial Court. Uh, so I know. Well, maybe, maybe. I think we've talked about it before. Oh, we've been here. My least favorite companions in this particular game within the Dragon Age series <laughs> is Sarah and Vivian. The Lord Seeker may not think you're a threat, but he's not here right now. I don't give a fuck what you think. Bye, Felicia. I like how Cassandra was like, don't even pay attention to them. Okay, so now we've got to go down these different routes. Can I go up this way? Difficult time for those who have lost. While I understand concerns for propriety and the general dressing of the bazaar, I must caution that release is needed. We are suffering not just ongoing civil conflict, pitting brother against sister, not just outright war, pitting Templar against mage, not just the loss of our most holy and the best of our leaders. We are suffering all three, as the sky is wounded for all to see. All we know of our world is threatened along with all we know of the next. With this most grave notation, I ask that the writs of losses and missing remain, that the citizens, however indirectly, be allowed to post their griefs of known dead and the names of hopefully living, and with them, their criticisms of how they have been told or not told. For while I have no doubt we as our lesions will maintain our utmost composure, there must be release. There must be grief. There must be mourning. If not, if we do not allow this simple expression, we risk a greater outburst. Let our people shed their tears and as reserved a means as necessary. The marker will be cleared in due course, but this day, this time, we must let this simple expression stand. Written by Captain Obion, or Legion Guard, Summer Bazaar. I like that. You just a dude? All right. God, this place is so pretty. Le Masque du Leon. Being in Val Royale is. Oh my. What? Why are you oh myeing? Is it just because I'm here? Reservoir stocking evaluation. Tremors, floating, tastes off. Water birds die off. Restocking failed. Fish not fit. Do not consume. Is that because of the breach? Oh, I thought I would just be able to pick it up. Can... Oh, yes. Favors for favors for friends. A red handkerchief folded around a key with a small hasty scrawl. Key lifted from drunk swearing about Harold. Don't know what door. I'm out. My debt is paid. All right. I see you over there. Just let me have it. The Randy Dowager Quarterly. <laughs> oh 
a waterlogged quarterly missive of suspect virtue. The randy dowager welcomes the blooms of spring with the collected calipigian? Curassiers? Being a scandalous representation of Her Majesty's favorite caught in flagrant delectable. Can their uniforms and modesty withstand the assault? The Randy Dowager exhibitions for the noble of thought, but spry of step. The lady herself says, a hardly a <laughs> hardly a tetheris, but generously arousing if polished curious does it for you. And it should. Three scars fluttered in shock out of five. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what did I just read? I know we came across one of those in um, in Haven, but I, there's so many words I don't understand. And for somebody of my uh, educational pedigree, I guess, whatever, like, not pretentious way to say that. <laughs> it sounded pretentious as fuck, I'm sorry. I still don't know what this means. There we go. Mirror de la Mer reveals folly. Mirror... Oh God, I can't do any of the French accents. Bear with me. Um, was cut from Valvario in 849 Blessed. It was the will of the Mad Emperor Reville. Reville? We're going to go with it. Who demanded a reflecting pool large enough to draw his vain deceased mother back across the veil. Many shops and vendors were evicted to make room for his folly, and several memorials to the heroes of the first four blights were simply toppled. Rip. The reservoir supports little in the way of life, as the bottom was lined with lead to increase its reflective properties. Revel intended it for div divination, using boats as massive planchettes, but work was not finished until the week of his own death. The water see little use today, save for lazy or fornication <laughs> so James. by the nobility aboard decorative gondolas wait is it is it insinuating that people are are, are getting busy in the boats or in the water because i feel like it'd be really difficult to engage in intercourse in a boat that's smaller because you know it'd be rocking and shit in the water i feel like you'd all right, you do you, my guys. Exerted and torn from a disposable walking tour of the capital. Fillion's got the good shit. He knows what's going on. He knows where to take people. <laughs> um, yeah, why the fuck not? I was gonna do the entire level, like first level. Okay, it doesn't matter anyways, before going upstairs. But it seems like <laughs> that's no longer an option. All right. They left us. The Templars left us to the mages. Chantry liars. We talked to this noble guy already. Yes. Okay, so let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning. Regard the charlatan. Very happy. And I am the foil. Very serious. We begin. We are divine. She is lost. We are lost. Lost from sight, but not from mind or heart. Fool, we are estranged. Our chant is unheard. Perhaps your chant. Who then the fool? Who then? Who then? And sin, voila. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but it was funny. All right. Le Mas du Lyon. We cheered when honored was her might, but many more deserved a thought. For though she was the first a knight, her ken and kind have always fought. From a plaque with the dedication Le Mas du Lyon, sponsored by Princess Queen's first cavalry. For those we stood beside. I don't know what that means either. What's a cavalry? I could Google it, but not right now. We maintain an inquisition presence on Commander Cullen's orders. Oh! This has been received as you might expect. You're ours. I should have checked that beforehand. 
Oh, I see it. Of course. Favors for favors for friends. A different simple script on the back of a staple report, marked with red paint. Thank you, friends, for helping good lady Karis. Saw those who asked about Harold enter third passage, could not stay to see them exit. Oh, is that Meriden? Why are you here, Meriden? Sorry, I know we've got a lot to read. Knot of heroes, map wrath and sacrifice. Andraste, our lady, the sword and the fire against Tevinter. Betrayed to the Empire in exchange for a kingdom. Mafrath, now synonymous with treachery. But would Andraste have won? And if not, what would we have lost? Let us look not just at the act, but at the why of it. Oh, this looks long. I'm sorry. As the armies of faith pierced the Imperial homeland, it was revealed not as a wave, but as an arrow. And as any hunter will attest, if your aim is not true, there is no returning to the bow. We must consider how much of Our Lady's victory to this point was against true Imperium, and how much was against the Echoes of Empire. Andraste the Inspiration may not have considered such, but Marathrath the General fought for homeland, not visions. Was it victory or defeat that his betrayal held at bay? Mafrath made the deal that killed Our Lady. That is fact. And when Andraste died, Mafrath was gifted everything from the southern plains south. How generous and impossible to hold this must have seemed. Let us look on Mafrath and the legacy he divided among his sons, not with an eye for accusation, but from a tactical consideration. For he must have known that mere rivals had never stopped to venture. What if he said about creating peers, and none of this was accident? How then fared Isarath, Evrion, and Verald? Excepted from a history not of heroes, readings in the ugly heart of change. Collected by Philium, a bard. Philium, such a bro. Compiling all this history for us. Oh, well... <laughs> the head of Madame Snippy Snips. Snappy Snips. Snappy Snips. Might be. Mascot of Le Mastulion, named Jest, but genuinely respected. The Grand Ma'am, as she is called, was the last dragon brought down by Sir Cone. Co Konig. The previous owner of the cafe, a spirited hunter, Konig came of age in the years following the siding that named the era. While others were quick to assume the tales of ancient Navarran dragon hunters must have been exaggerated, he tracked the gradual increase in dragon numbers and size. Koning believed we had yet to see a true return of the beasts of legend, and that the specimens of his day were young despite their ferocity. It is a cruel victory, but today we know Sir Koning to have been correct even as he may have fallen to his own expertise. He is, was, years overdue from his last hunt. And for the rest of us, travel wary. What we thought to be the pinnacle of dragon strength may have been closer to adolescence. The sisters of Madame Snappy Snips may have left their sibling far behind. Excepted and torn from a disposable walking tour of the capital by Philium, a bard. All right. So we have two. No, I did not see him. The report was vague, and he moved on quickly. Their ways are so secret, so interesting, and concerning. They can conscript whoever they want, you know. Taken by a warden, not as threatening as you think. Mm. Any people to talk to? You're not going to have anything nice Be to careful. say. Be careful. Uh, that's probably the politest thing that anyone said to us so far. The summer home of Messer Glubs. <laughs> Glubs? This is a frog? A seasonal home for the childhood pet of the twin sons of Empress Yvette. The nature of Messer Glubs remains unknown, save that he was a gift from a Ravani ambassador, and he was eventually released to the sea after taking the hand of a sluggish page. Um, an alligator? I can't believe this. Oh, yes. <laughs> I can't hear anyone say, I can't believe. In a, in a British accent, because I just automatically I hear the meme. 
All right. You just gonna glower there, my guy? Thanks. Sorry, I know a lot of this is just exploration and reading, but we're getting a lot of cool shit. Her Majesty's Convenience. Her Majesty's Convenience would and vines defy the very sun and rain. I don't know. What don't you know? Uh... All right. Affiliums are bro, so we're committed. Not of heroes, the death of diversity. I suppose. <laughs> what could hold back an empire? Another. What could hold back so define the people as to venture? Another. Let us consider if eldest Isarath was not meant to honor Mafrath, for the father's fate was already condemned by hidden betrayal. Let us consider that Isarath was told to turn from ties to Mafrath. To look forward, not back. What of his actions then? Israth was granted a land of tribes, of scattered alliance. His answer was the grand unification, which most condemned his arrogance. Sweeping changes in trade, relocations to break local allegiances, all to favor centralized trade and power. Cities were leveled to expand a new capital, a powerful and influential city of a new nation. Valrio of Orlais, and all in the name of not a loss on Draste, but of holding back looming to venture. Power was united, but culture is less so. Investing everyone in the new Orlais stratified the classes, and through it all spread a bitterness that a Ferelden ruled. Ethrath avoided the stain of his father, for he was seen as victim too, but he was still Alamari. What if, dear readers, the final unifying element came not from accident, or even the deliberate actions of Isarath, but from a common hatred, and not the common hatred of the day? The sons of Mafarath would succeed at creating a peer for Tevinter, but only at the cost of themselves. Excerpted from A History Not of Heroes, Readings in the Ugly Heart of Change, collected by Philium Avard. So he's almost a brother genitivi of the area. What? Yes, I'm sorry. Wonderful. Minding the duties of the ailing mother, Havara, I am rather overwhelmed. Forgive me, I am unsure whether I meant to extend chantry services to you, and that troubles me Same greatly. Same old. Why would you not? When your faith tells you to persecute others, probably need to switch faiths. I don't know if that was because I was the Inquisition or because I'm an elf. Either way, no. like... Okay, just gonna take a glance. Make sure I can't get over here or do anything over here. But God damn, look how pretty it is. This area is beautiful. Okay. Oh, I love this city. It's so pretty. Excuse me. Sorry, Solus. Oh, we can go in. I'm so glad I came over here. So cool. Blacko? Hello? <laughs> what an odd little shop. Do you sell oddity? Inquisition, eh? I'll sell, but if the Chantry censures you, I'm not liable. No <laughs> offense, but I have to live here, and Valroyo can be traditional. Clearly he's not from Valroyo. I'm assuming he's not from Valroyo, given the accent. All right, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it here in this odd little shop. I just watched the episode of Avatar where they uh, steal the water tribe scroll from those pirates. Curios, that's what, curios. So this is fitting. All right, guys, um, if you have the time and the spoons, please go ahead and check out the educational material that I have linked down below in the description. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time.